tonight, Kamala Harris, Harris speaking, speaking out in her first interview as Joe Biden's running mate. Listen. He decided that he was going to do that thing that was about breaking one of the most substantial barriers that has existed in our country. And that he made that decision with whatever risk that brings. And, and Harris, Harris has, has a secret, secret weapon in the race. race. She's, She's a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha, Alpha the oldest black sorority in the country. 300,000 members strong. Tell me, is that right? Kamala Harris, vice presidential candidate on a major party ticket. The first black and only third woman to do so. Celebrated? We were all on a, a Zoom call by the sorority sisters watching one of their own step forward. The whole place is, everyone is just, is just you know, screaming and crying. Completely overwhelmed, over the moon, so proud. We met them during Harris's presidential run. We were all just right there together. We were just all just, you know, regular girls. And now here's Kamala. We were all students at Howard University, a historically black college that was formed when white schools shut out black students. The women joined Alpha Kappa Alpha in 1986, becoming Line Sisters. AKA has a national membership of 300,000 women the first black sorority in the U.S. established more than 100 years ago. When you think about it, in 1908, people were just a few ticks off emancipation. And so now they find themselves in college. And what are they trying to do? It's really an uplift mission. Bound by that history, these women forged their own paths, year after year, their lives weaving together. We were down at the Senate. She had a formal swearing in by the time Vice President Biden had sworn her in. This is a very recent picture. This is a recent picture, yes. So this picture was at the GW book event, and we were there to support her. You're also AKA. Yes, I am. She talked about uh, being a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha, and the room exploded. The appropriate response was a steam. <laughs> You could see just by her response and then our response that it, it, it's all love. This isn't just a friendship or sisterhood. We're talking about political power. We're talking about political power. And we have it. We have it. And we're going to leverage it. And we, you'll see it's going to make a difference. Black voters in South Carolina propelled Joe Biden to victory in the Democratic primary. Overall, black women have supported Democrats more than any other voting subgroup. During her presidential run, Harris reminded voters of the power of that vote. From the debate stage, candidates have taken for granted the constituencies that have been in the backbone of the Democratic Party to social media. We can't forget what's happening to black women. Taking the lessons of the sisterhood learned decades ago to a nation today. It says that we can succeed, that we can be ambitious, that we can try to be at that boardroom table and lead where women can now aspire and say, you know, I want to be like Kamala. And you can see how important those relationships are in the AKA network. But here's something else. It's also a built-in network to organize and to fundraise. Expand that out to the HBCU Divine Nine fraternities and sororities, Kate. And we are talking about potentially hundreds of thousands of people. Kate? Thank and thank you all so much for joining us tonight. I'm Kate Baldwin. AC360 starts now.